You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers. I say that's the bad guy. Gotham City is mine now. Three months ago, I took down the deadliest villains it had to offer. But just because I'm here doesn't mean criminals will disappear. Now some of them see me as a personal challenge. I'm going to have to stay a step ahead. What's going on everybody? This is a quick review for Batman. Arkham Blackgate Deluxe Edition. Um, I was able to get my hands on the um, PS3 version to give it a quick review and a playthrough. Um, here's what I thought so far. Batman Arkham Blackgate is a surprisingly good twist on the Arkham series after playing Origins. I have to say the 2.5D platforming works very well at first. I thought this was going to be like a DLC for Arkham City where you get on the train and you run from car to car and you beat up bad guys, which in itself is not a bad thing. But to my surprise, it actually even felt more in depth, which made me understand why they released the PC version based, based on that alone. I had to understand why um, it wouldn't be just a DLC. Now I'm looking to get some payback. There he is! <laughs> Whoa! You want a taste? Bring it! As far as the graphics, I was surprised that uh, for last gen console, the graphics out of 5, I would have to give it a 4.5 because the graphics are really, really good. Um, it actually looks as good as um, Origins or even better. It actually looks a little better to me, but that's just my opinion. I give it a 4.5. The story, the story is really good. Um, once again, for Arkham game, we pretty much got the story, but this is an actual surprisingly good twist on it. Um, you get to fight on the rules, go to Blackgate, see what's going on there. This is stuff you didn't really get to see in the other three titles. So uh, I think this is pretty good story-wise. As far as the controller, it feels similar even though for, for it to be a side scroller, um, it's like a slight difference in the controller, it's a little bit more clunky, but uh, it actually functions exactly like any of the other Arkham games. If you play those before, you'll like this, you'll feel right at home, you'll pick up the controller and just start doing your combos just like before. Um, like I said, it plays a lot like that train DLC. Um, as far as the replay value. For its original originality alone, I would say it has a high replay value because you'll want to play it again just to like run around and beat up people and uh you know go from roof to roof and do it in different ways. It's pretty it's pretty much fun. Overall, I have to say the replay value, I give that a four out of five. I have to give the originality a five, I have to give the controls a three, and overall I give this game a four point five. It's a pretty good purchase. I mean, you can't go wrong for it to be a uh, downloadable game on Xbox 360 and uh, PS3. As far as PC, I'm expecting it to be a little bit better because then you got the higher end graphics. It also comes out for Wii U. You can expect this game to be available on um, April 2nd. I recommend you get this title, guys. I mean, there's no reason not to. Well, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this. And uh, this is Jimmy and I'll be gaming.